What's up guys, Dave here from thegadgetbook.com and in this video we're going to be going over the rumours and all the leaks around iPad OS 16. So everything right now is looking all good. All these new leaks and rumours are pointing towards an exciting new operating system for all iPad users. So iPad OS 60 will feature a new home screen. Leaks suggest that users will be able to place music, podcasts, TV shows, files, folders and much more on your home screen. Also the iPad will feature a stack like feature on the dock which is also found in the Mac operating system. Leaks also suggest that you can choose your layout in iPad OS 16 so you will not have to stick to the grid, you will be able to choose where you would like to place files, folders and icons. So interactive widgets is coming to iPad OS 16. This means you will be able to play music, check the weather, you can even write a note straight from your home screen. So rumours suggest a Mac OS Pro mode will be coming to the iPad. So Apple have a patent on a hinged keyboard accessory which has multiple installation modes for a tablet computing device. Now what does this mean? It basically means that Apple will be coming out with a Microsoft Surface style keyboard for the iPad Pro. This keyboard will also work alongside the smart system for the iPad which will allow apps to operate in full screen but enable them to automatically shrink to use side by side when connected with the keyboard and trackpad. But as it's a patent, I don't really think that it will be coming in iPad OS 16. It will be coming in future iPads where you will be able to connect the keyboard and you will get a pro mode on the iPad. However, we will be seeing a new multitasking switcher which has a new user interface. It has spotlight search built in and also accessibility to the dock as well. This will work alongside the new multitasking system which will allow you to open apps a lot easier. Rumours suggest that we'll see expanded split screen views that would accommodate up to three apps side by side. Something else that said will be in iPadOS 16 is popover apps which will allow apps to be launched in a free floating window rather than taking up a bigger portion of the screen. So multiple account support could be coming to iPadOS 16. It said that this could be one way that the iPad could differentiate from iOS while offering more a proper computer-like functionality and with family sharing, Apple can make it really easy to set up. As we're going to be getting files and folders and much more on the home screen, Apple will also be updating the files application which will have a lot of new features. So some of the biggest news for the iPad OS 16 for me personally is that you will be able to get pro apps on the iPad. For applications such as Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro and Xcode will be compatible for M1 iPad Pros. So Apple will preview iOS 16 at WWDC 2022 on June 6. It will also be previewed alongside iOS 16. So let us know what you think of iPad OS 16 in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button because we will have loads of iOS 16 content coming soon and I'll catch you in the next video.